FIFA 20 is just over two weeks away. We're 15 days until September 19th, which is the confirmed official FIFA 20 early access release date. And boy, oh boy, am I excited. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can get the best start on FIFA 20 without blowing all your coins or, you know, just having a poor start, really. I've had it many times in the past where I've started a FIFA really poorly, and then it's about climbing back up to get myself a better team, more coins, etc. So we're going to go over the do's and don'ts of starting FIFA Ultimate Team. Before we do that, as you guys can see, we are on 95,242 subs. We are so close to 100,000 subs. I am so excited to hear 100k. I think I say this in every single video, but a sub would be really appreciated. I really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Uh, it mean the absolute world to me if you guys could and hopefully we get 100k by the end of the year that is the goal that is the dream and fingers crossed we can make it happen now let's start off with some important dates full fifa release date is the 27th if you guys get the champions or ultimate edition you get three days of early access the game comes out essentially three days earlier for you so if the full access uh, is 27th then champions and ultimate edition get it on the 24th i believe could be 25th uh but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 24th it's three days early so yeah 24th um and early access now is across both consoles playstation and xbox um and for anyone that has ea access you just download it from either store it's really really easy um you can get yourself a 10 hour trial version of fifa 20 from the 19th of september now this actually means that anything you do on the game carries over you keep absolutely everything it is the full game you just get 10 hours of it because ea like to give people a taster before the game make people buy the game or try and encourage people to buy the game um so everything does in fact carry over everything is 100 percent it carries over and typically every single year the web app is released on the same day as early access so expect the web app and early access to be released in conjunction around the 18th or 19th of september now sometimes ea actually released the early access uh, as a soft release the day before um last year ea released the uh soft early access uh, probably around 4 p.m. the day before. Um, I believe it was also Thursday last year. So on the Wednesday, it was like 4 p.m. the release of soft release. Now, it was really difficult to get on the servers. And if you did get on the servers, it was like really messy. You know, things were bugging out. The game would crash here and there. Uh, it was difficult to uh, to enjoy it fully, to enjoy the full experience. Um, hopefully, EA learn from their mistakes and make the servers more stable for a soft release. But you could get on the game early. Um, and then obviously, you've got the full game, full access to the game then for the 10 hours. Now, there is usually a a glitch uh if there is a glitch there will be a video on my channel showing you guys how to do the glitch on both consoles if that arises hopefully we do get a glitch but we just have to see if we do get some kind of way to extend the 10 hours uh, and of course i'll let you guys know as soon as i know if we do have one there was one for madden uh, nhl or nfl i think it was um so given that there was one for madden I think there could be one for fifa as well because typically when there's one for madden it always carries over for one for fifa um so we'll see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if there is a glitch. Like I said, I'll let you guys know as soon as I know if there is a glitch. Just look out for a video on my channel around the time of early access drop. And if there is a glitch, I'll have a video straight out for you guys teaching you guys how to do the glitch. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about in terms of starting Ultimate Team is make sure you get in tune and savvy with rewards. Now, uh, this is actually a video from September 20th. So September 19th last year is when uh, the EA Access came out. Now, on September 20th, uh, I got into Division uh, 5 from my five placement games and got rank 1 rewards. I advise straight away if you guys get on the early access, no matter what kind of team you got, start spamming games and try and get rewards as soon as possible. Um, September 19th this year is a Thursday. So if we do get a soft release on the Wednesday, um, hopefully we do, start spamming games wednesday night and play as many as you can because last year i only got like a few uh mega packs i think it was and a few 15k packs but we got a few 85 rated players in there and i believe i got a draft token in my rewards as well like it, the the rewards were pretty decent so um what i would do if i were you guys is i would make sure you get a bunch of games played to make sure you get rewards because any plays at the start of the game is always fantastic. Like you say here, uh, I got myself uh, an Ibrahimovic, which was great for SBCs. And if you took tradable, that card was like 25,000 coins at the start of the game, maybe even more. It's a great start to your foot bank account, I guess. It's probably the best way to describe it. Um, so that's probably the best thing you guys can do straight away. Look how different the pack animation looked at the start of the game. It's so weird, isn't it? Very strange. But uh, if I were you guys, I would definitely make sure that you guys get yourself uh, on the game and playing games as much as you possibly can. Now, 
Squad Battles as well is another one. A lot of people don't even ever play Squad Battles. Um, given that the game's coming out on like a Wednesday, Thursday, you can still get to Gold or possibly Elite if you play at a high level on Squad Battles with absolute ease. Uh, just play the game. Uh, most of the squads on Squad Battles should be really poor squads as well because there won't be a lot of people on the game with high-rated squads. So you'll have a lot easier of a time getting up there too. Um, so spam out Squad Battles because, again, you can get yourself some really, really good rewards. Uh, if you get super lucky, you can get yourself walkouts, you can get yourself informs, stuff like that. That. And it's a great way to start your uh, your FIFA uh, bank account. It's your great. It's a great way to start your FIFA account. It's a great way to just start FIFA, really. Um, so I highly recommend you guys actually do that uh, to get yourself started on Ultimate Team. In order to get yourself started, obviously you're going to need a team. Now I went ahead and uh, I made or I got made a concept team uh, obviously these ratings aren't confirmed some of the positions might be different uh, i think the only ratings that are confirmed are i believe lindelof and saint maximine although i'm not 100 sure so don't quote me on that um obviously the ratings came out i think yesterday but a lot of the lower rated players haven't been uh, like confirmed yet so we'll have to see um but this is a sort of like start a premier league squad it's just a little bit of like uh, a step in the direction do you know what i mean like obviously Sem Maximin might be expensive at the start of the game. Wesley might be expensive at the start of the game. Um, Joel Linton might be expensive at the start of the game. Ruben Neves might be expensive. Depends on how people are going to play the game and who they want to use. So just try and make a cheap squad. Uh, the 4-4-2 is usually a pretty good uh, solid formation just to start the game off to get a feel for the game and stuff like that. So if I were you guys, I would just get a, a cheap starter squad on the go. Something similar to this maybe. Um, and start grinding your games out. Like I know it's going to be quite mentally stressful and it's going to be quite draining but if you guys can spam out like 100 200 games in the first two weeks it's going to be difficult but you can get yourself really well started and of course there's always a catalog items they can get yourself a thousand coins per game two thousand coins per game uh 350 coins 500 uh, coins per game so of course playing a load of games with those on as well allow you to rag uh, rag rack up the coins to get yourself uh, a huge uh, account going really uh, which is a great start another great thing you guys can do is the advanced spcs these spcs are always really quite well priced for example this is a squad for a jumbo gold pack and it's actually really cheap to do it's not difficult at all um so these are always really good keep your eye out for these squads uh, and these spcs because a jumbo gold pack although it might not seem like a great pack you've got better packs down the line for example you've got uh mega packs jumbo premium gold packs 50k packs uh 45k packs prime packs stuff like that so you get yourself some really really good packs from these uh so i recommend you uh, you get these done like the advanced hybrid leagues advanced hybrid nations and advanced league and hybrid nations uh as you see here we got a rare mega pack for that so um so you actually can see i probably didn't pack anything sp uh, spectacularly from this but it's always nice to open these because sometimes you do get decent stuff here and there um so uh, let me actually see if i got anything i don't i don't remember this video i'll be honest with you i don't remember it at all uh, and we didn't get anything did we what pack is that that i saved is that just a yeah mixed contracts pack but regardless you make yourself usually profit every time on these if you do it right uh foot bin foot head foot whiz but i highly recommend foot bin will have cheap solutions for this so uh all you have to do is go on foot bin um and you can go in and go to like the cheapest solutions and straight away they'll just have um everything on here so for example uh you want to go probably non-repeatable here and go maybe advanced uh, or hybrid and they see hybrid nations hybrid leagues hybrid nations and leagues um and this is a, a price guide for for right now in fifa 19 probably really similar actually in fifa 20 where it starts it might rise a little bit after early access um but yeah so uh you can go ahead and complete these and make yourself some decent coins i would also like to say as we're just playing a division rival video in the background is you know i just thought i'd like to say uh a great thing for starting fifa is always patience uh so for example we get our welcome backpacks when we get the web app you usually get yourself like a few gold packs a couple of player packs as well if you are lucky and you get yourself something decent from those packs do not sell please do not sell do not quick sell players do not sell players excuse me uh don't quick sell players don't sell players make sure you hold on to those players because typically on early access and the web app players are usually cheaper and then give it a few days and they usually go up quite a lot um when the full game is released especially higher tier players i think last year messi was like five six hundred k uh on early access and then when the full game came out he went up to like a million plus coins so that's what my advice would be is to stay patient and make sure you don't just want the coin straight away make sure you just you, you know you take your time because players will rise eventually especially ones that are needed for sbcs uh, so make sure all the non-rares you hold on to as well you never know which sbc might require that one non-rare in the advanced league and nation hybrid so holding on to him might 
actually save you guys like 8,000 coins on buying a non-rare, for example, something like that. I would just advise saving your coins as much as possible, saving your players, sorry, as much as possible um, to save yourself losing out on coins, I guess. Now, every year, a lot more people get savvy with FIFA and they start. We're going to skip this video until we pack Neymar as well, because I think I packed Neymar in this video, I think. I can't remember. Was it this video? Uh... We put Booth on there. Yeah, it was this video. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so every single year, people, they get more savvy with FIFA. So more people every year will know holding on to players will make them more coins. Players are going to rise here. Players are going to dip there. With more and more traders coming out as well, uh, with like trader Patreons and private Discord and things like that, people are getting way more clued up with FIFA and with trading and stuff like that. What I would do if I were you guys, the earlier you get onto something, the better. If you're really just not great at trading, I wouldn't waste your time with it. If I were you, um, I would just try and be as, as comfortable as you, you possibly can and feel as comfortable as you can. That's probably the best advice I'd give you uh, with the start of FIFA. Uh, in terms of the start of FIFA, just, just try and enjoy yourself, really. Uh, the start of FIFA is always the best time of the year. It's always the most fun time of the year for me. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the start of the year. It's always great. Um... So yeah, just enjoy yourself, uh, enjoy the hype, enjoy everything, uh, because uh, because soon you'll probably hate the game, as everyone does when it comes like December and they've just been playing it for the last three months non-stop. But no, I'm, I'm really excited for FIFA 20. I've actually got really high hopes and I've got really, really high optimism for FIFA 20. I think it's going to be a great, great, great uh, game. I think that we're actually going to have some of the changes we really drastically needed for gameplay. I think we're going to have some great content and I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully you guys are going to be around for the ride. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.